What's going on YouTube? Happy November, no shave November for whoever is participating in that. Um, thought I'd put together a quick video on how my training splits looking right now. Um, I am bulking and I'm trying to lift a little bit heavier than usual, eating a lot of carbs, getting my strength up. Um, so I'm doing two days with lower reps for strength and then three days for hypertrophy. If you don't know your rep ranges, you don't know what counts as strength, you don't know what counts as hypertrophy, I highly, highly suggest to check out this video. It's probably, um, it's very, very vital information. If you don't know it, you might be spinning your wheels, okay? So something you might want to take a look at if you don't know your rep ranges exactly. Um, so let's get into the video. Basically, my workout is based around the FAT program. I don't know if you guys have heard of FAT, P-H-A-T, by Lane Norton. Um, if you Google search Lane Norton FAT, you will see this link from simplyshredded.com. If you click on that, it'll tell you all the details of the program. So basically, I took that program, kind of tailored it to my needs, um, kept kept the format kind of the same, but I just kind of threw in my own exercises, kind of messed with the rep ranges a little bit here and there. So let me uh, get into it. So pretty much what it is, it's Monday, upper body power, Tuesday, lower body power, Wednesday's my break, uh, Thursday, I do chest and arms hypertrophy. Friday, I do legs hypertrophy. And then Saturday, I do back and shoulders hypertrophy. And then Sunday is another rest day. Um, so just to go through it, Monday, upper body power. Um, these these are the exercises that I'm doing. And I'll, I'll list the uh, amount of sets and the rep ranges on the screen. And if you guys don't know what these exercises are, um, just ask in the comments and I'll explain them. So, upper body power day on Mondays, I do bent over rows, followed by lat pull down, and then some seated cable rows. So, those are my uh, three back exercises for strength. And then I do one for, uh, or I'm sorry, two for chest. I do barbell bench press, and then I do weighted chest dips. So, um, with chest dips, you want to lean your chest forward instead of going straight up and down. That's the difference between just regular dips for your triceps, but that still activates your triceps, gets them going. So I do that, and then I work on my shoulders for strength. I do dumbbell shoulder press. After that, I do dumbbell bicep curls, and then one for triceps, I do skull crushers for triceps. So that's upper body power day on Mondays. Tuesday, the next day, I do squats, leg press, leg extensions, stiff, uh, I'm sorry, stiff-legged deadlifts, prone hamstring curls, seated calf machine, and then any calf exercise after that, like whatever's open. My gym's really busy, so I can't always get what I want, and I like to switch it up for calves, so I just kind of left that open to any calf exercise I feel like doing that day. So those are my two power days. Um, after that, let me grab my other arm here. Okay, so after that, I go on to chest and arms, which is on Wednesdays usually. I'm sorry, it's it's on Thursday. Wednesday, I take a break. So Thursday, I come right back at it, chest and arms. And this is where the volume really picks up, guys. And um, a lot of people can't hang with this program because the volume, it gets, it gets taxing on your body. So um, you really have to be into it, really motivated to do this program. So chest and arms, I, go, I do a decline bench press, followed by incline dumbbell press, followed by a flat dumbbell press. So I hit all three of the angles as far as bench goes for my chest. Um, then I do a pec deck to kind of burn everything out. After that, I switched it up to my biceps. For the biceps, I do some barbell preacher curls, followed by some hammer curls, and then some incline bench curls. And if you don't know what incline bench curls are, just ask in the comments, I'll kind of explain it. Um, then I go over to triceps, three exercises for the triceps. Do behind the head dumbbell press, followed by flat bar cable push downs, and then followed by overhead rope tricep pull. Um, some of these, they might not be the proper name, just what I call them. So if, like I said, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just leave it in the comments and I'll explain. So that's chest and arms, which is usually on Thursdays. On Fridays, I hit up my leg hypertrophy day. Uh, volume picks up a little bit. So I go back to squats, and then I do some hack squats, followed by leg press, leg extensions, stiff-legged deadlifts again, 
some prone hamstring curls again, and then um, I, I kind of do the same thing for calves. So seated calf machine with the plates, and then my last calf exercise, I do whatever I feel like doing that day. It's kind of open, uh, any calf exercise. So that's kind of that lower body, that second, that hypertrophy, so hitting legs twice a day, that can get really taxing. In the first couple of weeks you do this program, you're gonna, it's, it's gonna be tough. So you kind of have to just adapt to it a little bit and then go from there. Uh, so that's Friday. On Saturday, I come back and do back and shoulders hypertrophy day. Um, for my back and shoulders, I do bent over rows, followed by hammer machine rows, seated cable rows, dumbbell shrugs for my traps, uh, close grip pull downs, and then I, I I finish it up with a dumbbell shoulder press for my shoulders, some front dumbbell shoulder raises, and some side lateral shoulder raises. So as you can see, it's pretty high volume. Um, two upper bot, or I'm sorry, two power days, break, and then three hypertrophy days, and then another break. So it gets a little taxing, but that's what I'm doing right now. I've seen great results, gain a lot of strength, gain a lot of muscle off that. Um, it is what my brother's doing right now too. Um, what we like to do is periodically just switch out exercises. I'm probably gonna stick with this program for a few weeks. I always try to go into the gym and just beat what I did last week. That's It makes it like a game, it's fun. You go in there and you're like, all right, I'm gonna do the same weight, but I'm gonna get one or two extra reps. Or I'm gonna kick it up to the next, uh, you know, five or ten pounds, and and I'll see if I can do that for the given rep range. So it's a great program, highly suggest it. Um, so just want to share what I'm doing in the gym right now. If you guys have any questions, of course, leave it in the box below. I'm looking to make a lot more videos coming up, so stay tuned, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.